lot of Muslims, what they look at is they look at quantity and they don't look at quality. Quantity versus quality. So what you'll hear Muslims doing in Ramadan is they'll say that, I've done one khatam of the Quran. Uh, I've done uh, eight rakats tahajjud. I've done 12 rakats tahajjud. Qiyamul Layl. Okay, they're looking at the quantity. I'm now on my third Quran khatam. They're looking at quantity. They're not looking at quality. Quality is something that is needed more than quantity and everyone knows this. Let's just look at business, okay? What's the point of you selling 500,000 units of something? You sold it, you sold it, okay? But after selling 500,000 units of something, you made maybe, I don't know, uh, 20,000 pounds or you made 30,000 pounds. Okay, fine, you made 20, 30,000 pounds. But another man, what he did is, he sold five things. And from selling five things, he made 50,000 pounds. You don't look at how many items you sell and how much turnover you get. You have to look at the profit. And the profit always is something different. Doesn't matter about the units you sell, doesn't matter what you're selling, how you're selling. It's end of the day, show your balance and show your profit. We have certain Muslims who are reading loads of the Quran, five Qurans, two, three Qurans, ten Qurans, whatever it is. But the bank balance in the end is going to be a certain amount. And there are other Muslims reading only one Quran, but they're reading with quality. That quality will give, give you more. Abdullah bin Abbas says, he says that I'd rather read, I'd rather pray for Allah two rakats with devotion. It is better for me than to spend the whole night, the whole night in prayer in front of Allah without devotion. Now imagine this, two rakats with devotion is quality. The whole night of prayer without devotion is quantity. So when it comes to quantity versus quality, who's going to win? It's going to be quality. When Allah said in the Holy Quran, I'm going to measure your deeds on the day of judgment. Allah did not say, I'm going to count how many deeds you did. If Allah said, I'm going to count how many deeds you did, then it should be us trying to get as many numbers in as we can. Allah didn't say that. Allah Azzawajal said, I'm going to weigh your deeds. Now when it comes to weighing something, SubhanAllah, we know this. A box can arrive in your house. If it's just got something very light inside, it's got a lot of bubble wrap inside, it's got a you know, few light items inside, okay? We know you can just lift it up, even a little kid can lift it up. But sometimes you can have a box much smaller, okay? But let's just say it's a smaller, smaller box, just that, that big, that's all it is. But in there, there's one gold bar or something. Imagine you know, how, how, how heavy those things are, right? You would have to hold that with, 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 uh, you know, with both your hands and still you're going to have to carry it with, with all your muscles being used or something. Why? Because it's, again, it's to do with the weight of what we've got. So imagine on the Day of Judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal, He's going to look at a number of things that we did. The devotion, the concentration, the reflection, the mind that we had there. Allah is going to take in consideration the effort we put into it. Allah is going to look at how we offered that thing, how much dedication we had, how much love we had for Him when we offered that thing, uh, how, how we used our minds to not to be distracted with other things. All these things will count. They're, they're to do with quality. And then each one, what it'll do is that it'll bring us another level of reward that we won't see otherwise. So please, when it comes to us offering ibadah to Allah, let us think about quality and not quantity.